Hey, it's Kerry Sullivan here with another How to Kick Ass in Sales.com video, and today is all about the reason why you want contingencies so you can skyrocket your success. So, I'm reading a great book right now by Bill Walsh, and Bill Walsh was one of the all time NFL best coaches out there of all time and he was telling the story how one time that he was in Oakland and he was under tremendous stress and pressure and they needed to win this game it was the final minutes of the game the Oakland fans and he was up in the booth calling the game right he was calling all the plays for the offense and all the fans were throwing things at him hot dogs and sodas and screaming at him and then there's all the pressure to actually go out there and execute and win the game and it was too much for him it was just overriding his mind and he wasn't able to think the same way he normally would under different circumstances and he had two chances in that game to actually go out there and win it but the stress was too much for him. He just couldn't think well enough to really go out there and help his team win. And the same thing he found was also happening in the beginning of games because often there was a big build up to these games and the first few plays of the game, there's a lot of stress, a lot of pressure, things are happening. And again, he wasn't making the best play calls. His players weren't making the best decisions. And he thought, okay, how is it that I can figure this out? And so what he did is he started developing all these contingency plans. And what he would do is he would game plan the first few plays of every uh, every game. So the team knew exactly what plays they were going to call when they went out on the field, and it took out all the emotion because they were prepared, they knew exactly what was going to go, go down, and they would practice these things going into the game. And then conversely, he started making contingency plans for all the bad things that could happen in a game. You know, what if it's, you know, going into the second half, we're down by two touchdowns you know 14 points or more right and he just had all these plans of how they would go out there and do it and his team would then conversely go and practice these situations you put them in these situations he's like, all right we're down 14 nothing we're on the our own 20 yard line we've got five minutes left let's go this is what we're gonna do and boom they go and practice this and then when these things happened in game time situations they're able to more often than not then most other teams out there have success. Doesn't mean they have success every time, but they were able to have a higher chance of doing it, and they were able to take out their mind of the game playing tricks on them, because Charlie Munger talks about this too, and he's got some great stuff out there. Go do a YouTube search for Charlie Munger and 25 cognitive biases, is that our brain will play all kinds, and and our emotions will play all kinds of tricks on us, and we'll end up not making very good decisions. So the more you can have things and systems and checks in place to prevent that from happening the better and one of the ways you can do that is through contingency plans and that's what Bill Walsh did so you can do the same thing in sales so what's going to happen if you're you know get into the end of the sale then all of a sudden the person you're doing business with is like you know what I don't want to do this right what's your contingency plan for that how are you going to handle that you know putting yourself in those hard situations over and over again and having a go-to plan to do that you're going to do a lot better you know one of the things they found with top sales professionals is that they had the same response and did the same thing for situations where the client was putting them in a hard situation maybe it was a, a rebuttal or maybe they want to renegotiate something or whatever it may be the sales professional professionals who were the best had the same response and same system to deal with these things every single time. They never switched it up, right? So they knew exactly what to do in those situations and it worked for them. So it's the same thing that Bill Walsh was doing with this team. You can do it in business and life and everything else. So hey, this is Kerry Sullivan with our How to Kick Ass at Sales.com video. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye.